What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Deeper Start and I am back with another video. So in today's video, we're going to be finishing up some painting on Panther's interior. You'll find out more after this little intro. Let's get it. I'll show you in a second. Let me just show you guys the uh, interior again of Panther. I think so far it's um, it's coming together, man. This interior is looking pretty good. Man, I'm doing this on just using like spray paint. I'm not doing anything special, spending a ton of money or anything like that. Just little small little things, man. Goes a long way. So, so far, so good. I like how it's looking. Those um, floor mats really complemented the interior. That's why I want to change that um, the carpet color to black. I think that'll look really good. It'll blend in with the um, those little floor mats that I put on there. I got those off of Amazon for like, what did I pay for those, man? Like 25 bucks, 25, 30 dollars, something like that, man. Real cheap, didn't pay a whole lot of money. Anyway, but let me let you guys see exactly what I'm gonna be changing today. Let's get a view from the back so I think we can see a little bit better. pump right there keep with me at all times just in case all right so view from the back seat again but i'm going to be changing those what do you call that uh windshield door panels or whatnot uh, covers i believe that's what you call them but i'm going to be changing those and it doesn't even look right it doesn't even blend with the car what i did was put some little carbon fiber on there i was actually you know what i was doing man i was actually just kind of sampling just to see how they would come out if i wrapped them so i was just kind of messing around with them that doesn't go with the car at all so i'll be changing those if you try to get a better view from back here if you get a view from back here and just look you know to the front of the car it just doesn't look right it doesn't blend at all they just look black they're actually some kind of little gloss carbon fiber little wrap that i had now again i was just sampling just seeing how they would look but it doesn't look good at all it doesn't blend with anything in the car so what I'm going to be doing is painting those red, and that'll be the last paint uh, red that I'll be putting inside this car. Because again, I don't want to put too much. I just want it to be complimentary, and that's it. All right, so you guys see what it looks like now? Of course, you guys will see what it looks like pretty soon in a few segments, all right? So be back in a second. I'm going to remove these and um, get them all cleaned up, and then I'll show you one segment of me putting on the uh, first coat of uh, primer and then the final and then one segment of me doing the same putting on one coat of the red and then you'll see the final all right so again this is what it looks like now you guys will see what it's gonna look like when i'm done all right but back in a sec let's get it so i just wanted to give you guys a better look at these this is what they look like it was so hard to see what these actually look like on the car this look really dark inside the car, but this is what they look like. The color of them, to give you a better idea. Not bad, kind of blends with my hood a little bit. But, um, yeah, anyway, so I'm going to be changing these. I just want to give you guys a closer look what they actually look like. Not too bad, but again, it just doesn't go with the theme of the car. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this wrap, get them cleaned up, and the next uh, segment you'll see is the first um, coat of the um, primer. All right, be back in a sec, let's get it. All right guys, so here we go with the first coat. I'm gonna use some Rust-Oleum primer. All right, go ahead with the first coat on this one, and then you'll see the last one, all right? So let's just get the first one down on here real quick. Nice and smooth, all right? And again, I always go light on that first coat just to get it on there. Do one side, I'll do the other. Get it started, get it on there. All right, that's the first coat for that one. Let's knock this one out. Nice and smooth. 
and you want to just continuously move so you don't leave the um, spray nozzle in one place too long. That's how you get runs, all right? Knock this side out. Nice and smooth. All right, that's the first coat. So I'll be back with the last, all right? So that being said, let's get it. All right, so I put five coats on this, on these uh, panels, and this is how they came out. I just put that last one on there so it's wet. I'm gonna let these dry for about 15 minutes before I start the uh, first coat of the paint that I'm gonna put on here. So I just wanted you guys to see what they look like. Nice and smooth, no runs like always. Let's take my time and do it right. The first time you don't have to go back. Now, in the event you ever make a mistake or if I ever make a mistake, I've made a mistake before when I was tinting my um, tail lights on uh, Panther. I have to use, where is it, let me find it. It's uh, right here. This will remove paint. Like when you're painting or whatnot, or rather you tinting or painting, it's gonna take it right off. You make a mistake, man, which I hate making mistakes, but we do off at times. Um, just have to uh, just do it all over again which I don't like to do, that's why I take my time. But anyway, in the event you ever make a mistake, you guys probably already know that, man, just get your um, can of this, and just, uh, it comes right off. You just do it again. But uh, that's how I learned patience, man, because I remember tinting Panther windows, man, uh, uh, tail lights, and man, I made a mistake, and I was like, damn, I didn't know about this, and so I looked on YouTube, when in doubt. Look on YouTube, man, I looked on YouTube, and it said, uh, Grab me some brake cleaner and take that paint right off. Man, I ran over to AutoZone and boom. And ever since then, man, I've just been taking my time. Anyway, so that's how these came out, man. Let's get it. Be back in a second. All right, so I waited exactly one hour <clears throat> to let these dry and really, you know, kind of settle, if you will. And they are um, ready for the first coat of the paint. All right, so the paint I'm going to be using is this one. And it's specifically for, you know, you know plastic. And that's what this is, so... All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the first uh, coat, and then you guys will see the end result. All right, let's get it. Go ahead and knock this one out real quick. And the first one, again, I just put a little light one on there. Just kind of get it started. And again, you don't wanna stay in one place. At, uh, keep the nozzle, again, in the same place. That's how you cause the runs, anyway. So that's the first one. Let's knock this one out just a little bit and get it on there. And this side. Alright, so that's the first one. Alright, so the next one you guys will see will be the last coat. How it actually looks. And what I'm going to do, like I always do, is let these sit for about 24 or 48 hours before I handle them again. That way, to reduce like any smudges or anything like that getting on them, right? So, be back in a second. Let's get it. All right, guys. So, without further ado, let's see what it looks like. I went and got it all cleaned up. And, uh, man, just real quick, like Tupac said, another sunny day in California. Man, it's gorgeous here. Anyway, so let's check out the ride. I'm going to just do a quick walk around because I just washed him. I haven't washed him in a while, but yes, sir. Haven't did a walk around video in a while, or added a walk around in a video in a while. Anyway, digging these wicked flow tips on there. Those came out pretty good. Anyway, then we'll get to um, how the panels came out on the inside. All right, just a quick walk around now. Without further ado. Let's check out these panels. I think they came out pretty nice. I don't know if you'll be able to see them from this. Oh yeah, you can a little bit. That's the other side at least. That added a little bit more spice to the interior. Yeah, that brings it out. But that's it for the paint I'm gonna be doing on this car. Let me get the back seat angle so you can actually see this side. But they came out really well. Sir. 
those stand out much better than that um, carbon fiber that I had on there. That didn't fit at all. This is a nice little faux right here. Can't we really get everything that appears in there? I don't know. Weird angle. But I think that came out really well. I like it. Let me go to get a view from the other side. I think that came out really, it turned out really nice. I like it. But that's it for the paint in this car. Um, so next will be, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do the carpet next because I did mention that I wanna change that carpet to black because I'm not really feeling that gray anymore. Um, so anyway, I think it turned out really well. I think next, maybe changing the carpet Got an update coming on um, the El Camino. I'm going to be actually driving over to the shop in a few minutes to go see that car. And um, I'll be doing some uh, the straight piping, vision, and I got a few more things going, man. A um, lot more to come. Stay tuned, man. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Man, support your boy. I'm out here grinding, putting together videos, man, just trying to keep this grind going. All right. So anyway. Like, share it to your boy, D. Broussard, man. I'm out. Mm -hmm.